Welcome back everyone to another round of Planet Nomads. The greenhouse is done. All the plants have been planted and it looks nice, especially at night. I've also got a lot of supplies going, fortunately. Mostly using the iron from that one, but this one I have not emptied yet, so guaranteed the storage container is probably pretty much full at this point. Yeah, I've got a good bit of uh, basic frames, you know, metal plating. Let's get in range. You'll see 3,570 basic frame can be made. 3,574. There is going up. It's just, yeah, working so much better with that done. And I have found that, yeah, definitely need more refineries. Because if I place this here, see, I have zero purified water because I have disconnected this one. That's connected and 16,369 purified water in storage right now, just inside of this. And that's not even but a few hours of letting it run. So this is producing a massive amount of water. I'm just going to let it keep doing that until I have my new power setup done, which is what the goal is today. So we're going to start by, of course, I guess building outwards a bit and I, I really wish we had more circular options. Yes, we do have curved corners, but not something that allows for a true circular design in a smooth circle. I really wish we had that sort of thing. What I'm thinking maybe is to s separate it out a little bit. I don't want to get too big with this because it's going to go next to here. I don't want it to encroach upon that too much. I'll just go out like this. So slight adjustment on this side. I'm going to test this out because what I'm thinking is I want to have a top down view of the generators down below. So I have all the generators kind of sitting down here, nice and on and glowing. And I'll have like an underside access door if need be for that. And that way you just have all the generators down below looking nice and pretty while they work. And then up top, above each side, we will go with the uh, big storage container. Where did I put that one? Let's see. There we go. And so basically it would fit almost perfectly on it. I just have to, you know, have something up here to sit. So one side for deuterium, one side for uranium. So what I'm doing right now is I've got a general structure for the upstairs area because I want to have a nice viewing area which means I need it to look right and I'm gonna play with this a little bit I want to try to do a little bit more contouring this time around and maybe a little more color variants in certain things like a black and green more you know like green power so something like that Hulk power uh, so now what I'm going to focus on is really the lower level where the generators are going to sit and I actually space this out with the generators in place like that with the plan of connecting them in below and as i started working on that i realized that's going to be a really big pain to split the uh connections down below so what i'm actually going to do is have the connections come across and then feed from the top for the generators and what that means is the uranium generators will actually sit up here and just connect in from the side so you'd end up with, let's say, for example, this type placement. And you'd be standing up here looking down through the glass and you see the generator hanging down there. And I'm going to have a drop down where I drop down and I have walking access to each of them to make it easy to grab supplies, pop back up and then dump things into the storage, which will sit up above the glass panes. So it'll be something like that, where it sits up above, walk in, oh, I need some deuterium, grab deuterium, completely separate so that no lag trying to get to it, and having it where basically the generators are getting access straight to the uh, production elsewhere, but also going to have, of course, production here. And what I'm thinking with that is by trunking this way, uh, and this may end up being a really tight squeeze in the end, but I'm going to try to make it where the refineries sit up on the ceiling as I walk along and they just interconnect along that way 
It may actually end up being me doing like this in some regard, uh, making it where it mounts sideways like it's held within. Yeah, that, that should work well enough. I mean, even walking forward, that's not going to be a problem. Not like I'm jumping around doing this out of my head. I'm not going to do that all the time. Hmm. Well, there's a problem here. If I run this trunking the way I want, there's going to be a very visible gap here because of that. Because it doesn't sit flush to the bottom. You don't have that option. And if I build across this way, it's still going to leave a gap there. So I'm going to actually have to move things out a bit, which means I'm going to have to move this in, put another connection across. So this will be separated. And that actually lines up perfectly right now with that. I like the notion of keeping that. I may end up actually just taking this out and having the standard front piece like this. That connects over here like that. I might just do it that way. Take this out. As much as I like trying to get that to work, you know, we still have inherent problems with glass surfaces in this that just, they don't work as well as they should. So it's really interesting how the game acts at times. I messed up and targeted the wrong thing, which is very easy to do in the game when I was messing with this conveyor system earlier. I took out a piece. And instead of taking like a minute to calculate the physics, it dropped that piece immediately. Like it was a brand new game save, no weirdness in calculating physics. It just immediately dropped it. And then I end up having more problems now with trying to place things where I start placing it. And as soon as I click, it shifts like way over here and I have to go and take it out, do it again. So it is honestly so confusing why it acts the way it does. I mean, I could understand this conveyor stuff still being a problem because I've got everything linked in, but this is connected like that and I'm having no issues with the conveyor stuff on this side. It's building immediately. And yet when I do the little hover jack thing, it still has some delay to it. So I don't know how this happened because all I did was disconnect the conveyor piece underside and the entire piece here that was held on by a connection to this decided to fall off. So now the whole thing is broke and I've got to reload from a save and lose some work. This is interesting. Uh, three of them are showing no fuel and three of them are showing zero percentage. I, okay, what happened here? I mean, they're all connected into the same chain. They're all connected in the same way. Did something decide to just break over here? Because that's very likely. It seems to happen a good bit in the game. So I just replaced them and it's doing the same thing again. That is, yeah, there's just so many bugs still with this game that really shouldn't be there. You know, especially calling it full release, it should not have the bugs that it has in this game. So now that I put some fuel in them, they all show correctly, which is still so weird that it does like that. All right, and so basically what I'm doing here is after experimenting a bunch, I'm saying I'm gonna lay the refineries on their side so that when I walk up, I can have some kind of, you know, like covering over this. Uh, make it kind of look fancy in a way like that. So I'll have this spot that I can access and then it's going to give kind of an, a full enclosed feeling to everything with this. And these will just get linked into the conveyor system through right here. I'll just drop something down from here behind the scenes or whatever. It'll come back in and it'll be linked in this way. And that way I can just build up a little bit more here and create a nice little uh, look. Uh, you know, it's like not piping, but it's, it's got that same kind of effect that you see when you, uh, you look at piping like, oh, here's an industrial area in the movie and they have all these pipes. You don't know where they go. You don't know what they do. So this is just kind of like a an enclosure platform to give it that that singular functional look to it like everything is part of the system and i'll just have things come off like this 
And then, yep, we'll come out from here. So we'll have the single trunk that comes out. And all the rest will connect over that instead. And we'll get this kind of look to it. So yeah, basically some kind of enclosed feeling. I'll probably do something similar while I trunk upwards a bit. Uh, I still want to leave openings so when I walk in, I can, you know, come up here and be like, oh yeah, I can target that generator, throw some deuterium in, so I don't have to worry about it being so much of a central storage point for all of them, and that will lead the storage to actually be more for uh, keeping things organized and having some deuterium ready to go when I need it, and I'll just come down there, take stuff out of the refineries, and then come up here and dump it into my storage container, which now I'm not going to worry about one side. I'm going to do just this side, get it all fixed up the way I want, and then replicate it across to here. So I want to make sure everything looks right over this direction. And I mean, it's not looking super pretty, but it's not looking horrendously ugly either. And yeah, I linked. So maybe... Maybe I could connect outwards on this side as well and have another glass piece right there. So it'd be, uh, let me make sure I've got it aimed the right way. I want it to line up correctly. Maybe something like that where it comes out. Of course, then it does have that right there, which I'm counting on that to have some sort of support. Yeah, that kind of shows too much. Uh, I'll wait on that. I might try it again uh, later when I'm messing with this. But yeah, I'm definitely going to make this a little bit more cosmetically pleasing. I also want to make sure it has great functionality to it, which is why we're going to have no conveyors underneath, but plenty of stuff inside that's kind of tucked away. All right, so I have tied the refineries in so they have power. But I didn't tie it into the direct power there. I tied it into a switch up here so I could come in and say, you know, refineries and just turn them off. So no production going if I'm like getting overloaded with, you know, what I'm doing. And then having that same switch over there, I could have something that ties back and tells it to turn off. Though I don't think I will need that so much. Now it's time to sit here and say... That's what do you think? 10,000 basically? Or, well, you know, not, uh, 99, 999. Ah, God, I wish it would expand to let you see it. 99999. There we go. And there we go. I have turned on the water purification. Oh. Well, there is a problem there, isn't there? They're not connecting in. And I did not notice that until I activated one of them. Oh boy, okay, that's gonna change things up a bit. So yeah, I forgot that the refineries do not link up exactly. So I'm just gonna have to build something like this in between each one. And I think I'm just gonna, yeah, fill it in each side. I'll figure out something better with this to cover that up as well because I do want to have this covered up as much as possible. And that's not really making me think I should just turn it where the bottom side is facing out now. But yeah, that's that's irritating. So there we go. 4,018 hours on each of these evenly, well, somewhat evenly distributing using 48 watts. It's about to get a lot worse after I take these out of the loop which are so full, 565 hours. It's so weird how some of these work in terms of certain things actually connecting and pulling from storage and other things not. So still 4,000 hours on this. So I'm doing pretty good on that. I think it's time for me to toy with the cosmetics a little bit and see what I can come up with. And once that's done, then I'll just have to do a similar style, but not identical style on this side because yes, that works for that, but I'm going to be using uh, the the uranium generators on this side, and I am out of range. On, I was about to say, I know I've got reinforced frames. I made a couple thousand of them. So yeah, it's, it looks differently, so this side's going to be just a little bit off cosmetically, and of course this is going to 
have it where instead of connecting in from the top, it's going to connect from the side. So this may stick out a little bit different. So that's going to be it for this episode of Plant Nomads. I feel I made some good progress with this and I've got a decent visual going on it, as well as, of course, the cosmetics that I want. Despite the setbacks that I've had, the problem with it disconnecting the whole thing for some random reason, despite the fact nothing was taken out to do that, and just the you know, stuttering still problematic with that. And of course, in this case, being more problematic with placing blocks. A lot of times I placed the blocks and it would jump out further away and I'd have to go and take that block out and place again and there's a couple cases where it took four or five tries to actually get something to line up the way I wanted it to so setbacks but I did get a good bit done like I said I feel like I did so yeah I, I, I just need to play with the cosmetics a bit more now but like I said that's it for this episode of Plant Nomad so if you enjoyed it hit that like button leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already as always I'm your host Mr. Spicy thanks so much for watching be sure to keep it spicy this week and I'll see you in the next video